Hey everybody, and yes, that title is correct. 343 has unofficially stopped supporting the Master Chief Collection, as on Twitter yesterday. I'll have the link to the post in the description below. The 343 devs were sent this piece of memorabilia as a token of their hard work throughout the last 10 years. It says, finish the fight with the date of July 2023, which was the date of the last MCC update. This means that the Halo Master Chief Collection may not receive any large updates outside of small minor bug fixes in future, and there's still a lot to be done on the game. I'm going to go through exactly what needs to be done, and more on that in just a second, but it seems like the final 343 devs who are working on the Master Chief Collection, it was maybe a handful, five at the very max, are now no longer working on the MCC. One of the devs publicly posted in July that he's no longer working on the MCC, and even myself I noticed that with the networking change on Halo Infinite where they're fixing the desync, some of the long-term devs who are on the Master Chief Collection have been helping with the networking on Halo Infinite. Now I had numerous people reach out to me saying that when the possibility of microtransactions was squashed by the community, a lot of end-of-life plans for the Master Chief Collection also got squashed. I understand the game needs to make a revenue, but I really wish different monetization avenues were considered. Even paid mods like Skyrim I thought would have been a great idea. Halo MCC is such a content rich game, there are so many things that could be done with the game, and every time the MCC got updated, even if it was a very minor update, the population rebounded instantly. If 343 wants to take this route, and they want to move on to the future, as they've done a fantastic job restoring the game, you compare it to at launch back in 2014, to now in 2023, they've done a fantastic job at fixing, refurbishing, and outside of some bug fixes I'm about to talk about, the game is very much playable. So what needs to be fixed? One, the ranking system needs to be reworked to allow looser matching in most playlists as the search times can be very slow. A lot of people who play ranked on MCC, it's very, very hard to get games, especially at the lower and higher levels, and this needs to be tweaked. Mod support for the custom games browser, I think is essential, as well as new rotational playlists as the other ones are two years old. You have five to six different games on the collection. You could even get the community to make brand new rotational playlists. That's minimal support that requires significantly less dev work on 343's end, so new rotational playlists would help keep the game fresh for years to come. Some other things that need to be fixed is co-op is currently a mess, and there was numerous bugs added to the game with the July update, including the Halo 3 cutscenes being broken. This is because 343 didn't have the dev resources to actually QA test and test everything to make sure it was all perfect, and it's a real shame that the high ups, either at Microsoft or at 343, don't feel like the MCC is a product and they can earn much money off in the future. Two things I would have love to have seen added to the MCC would be the ability to watch the original main menus in MCC's home screen, a music selector so you can pick which music you listen to on the main menu, and an official mod list for the Xbox version of the game. Very much like Skyrim, a set number of official mods that players can jump in and play. That's where I spoke about the monetization. They could even make them paid, giving a cut to the modders, which would in turn allow modders to get paid. So there's more incentive for them to make content. 343 gets paid, so it's incentive for them to keep supporting the game. And it's new content for people who enjoy those games. It creates a whole ecosystem, almost self-sustaining in a way, as it's the community who are creating the content. From what I've heard, there is still one or two minor updates planned for the Halo MCC but all large-scale updates are completed with no new major features planned. I was really hoping we would see from the dig site team the Halo 2 E3 demo. I thought that was going to be released. I also heard if there is going to be any updates in future, it'll be from passionate 343 devs creating content in their spare time. The really big problem, and it's because the Master Chief Collection is so big, and that's why the El Dorito the Halo Online maps aren't in matchmaking, is because they weren't sure what would break and they didn't have the manpower to check if they got added to matchmaking. Ultimately, and I feel very strongly about this, the Master Chief Collection has so much in terms of content, new and unique rotational playlists should be considered at the very least. Get the community to make them and then implement them with minimal dev support. With that said, Halo MCC has come a very long way. Next year, it'll be out for 10 years, and I think 2024, if you're going to cut off support, would be the year to do it. That gives 343 one more year, as the game is very nearly complete. Get those last couple of features out, make some new rotational playlists by the community, and find some alternative revenue sources to keep the game going for a long time. There is the argument to be made that 343 should be looking to the future and not the older games, but these games are adored by thousands and thousands of people, and I think they should be preserved with the best quality possible, because if the game was getting minor small updates, you would have a very healthy game population. So let me know what you think down in the comments below, guys. Not the video I was expecting to make today, but it is really, really important. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say down in the comments below. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.